welcome to episode 12 of Little Workroom Crafts. My name is Davina and I live in the southeast coast of the UK. It's quite a nice day today, but um, we have had it really, really nasty, but not as nasty as the, the other side of the country. We, you know, the west has, has been quite flooded, which isn't nice. So I do, you know, feel for everybody over there. Um, but apart from that, you know, today is a nice sunny day and um hopefully it will stay like it let's hope it's cold though it is cold i will say okay then right what have i been up to in the last fortnight well obviously i've been going to work and um, i got my new sewing machine which at the end of this um video i'm going to put a little clip in of just a little overall that i've actually done of her she's amazing to sew on so if you're interested i will put it in at the end okay i have been doing a lot of crafting Today we have got some knitting, some crochet and some cross stitch. Um, anything else I've got? Oh, we, I have actually got that new wadding I was talking about a fortnight ago. So I'm going to talk about that. I I'll show you it. I haven't actually quilted on it yet because um, I'm going to um, do a machine, a machine quilt piece and hand quilt piece. And I've got the threads. So what I will do is uh, when I get to that um, section, I will you know uh, explain everything then and then we'll go over that in the next fort fortnight or so right then so i have some um a little bits and bobs left over questions that not questions oh comments that love some lovely ladies left me um after my room tour so i am going to um to uh you know um answer those and i think that's about it for today Day. i've got um yeah okay we'll, we will pop things in as we go in my last um episode a fortnight ago um i did mention a pattern a crochet pattern for a blanket and so and i said i was going to do um uh, a blanket for a friend of mine that's expecting a little baby girl so anyway i've got it finished so let me get it righty ho this is the pattern. It's lovely to stitch. It's the Granny Heart Blanket. It's designed by Sue Rawlings. And as I say, go onto her Instagram. Her Instagram, I know I've mentioned this before, is um, Sweet Pea Family Crochet. The pattern was only £1.25, worth every penny of, um, of that. And um, yeah, I've, I've actually been asked by Glenn if I'll do a couple more for um, his nieces for Christmas. So, you know, well worth getting. And I am really pleased with the way it has turned out. Right, let's get this and see what I can get in. Because I did, I did decide on the four big squares. So I got four hearts, not one heart in the middle and then keep going round so i did it that way and i thought well, i'll leave it this size because that would be um ideal for putting on the um you know uh, uh what they called these days uh <laughs> called these days <laughs> car seat or you know little bits and bobs like that so yeah i'm really really pleased with the way that actually did turn out also um i think that actually is all the crochet it is right let's go on to knitting okay as i said in my last um podcast as well i am now a test knitter for a lovely young lady called liv and she is messy makes mind she actually has a, a youtube channel and um yeah the pattern was lovely to do it really was lovely to follow I was really pleased with the way it turned out, turned out, and it's a cowl. It's done in Aran, which I don't often knit in Aran, so that was quite nice <laughs> to uh, knit. This pattern actually is released, and it's called the Messy Columns Cowl. And um, also, I've done another one for her since this one, which is already finished, and I think she's releasing that pattern today. So, and I know she's doing a YouTube um, episode. So keep an eye out for her, for because uh, the new one is very nice. It is very nice. I, I really enjoyed making that one. So, and the yarn I used in that was the oh, it's King Cole, 
Kim Cole and it's the Aran Fashion. That is what I used and that's what I had left out of the, the 100 grams. So, you know, you, you do practically use up your yarn, which is nice. Also, my Katie Bean. My Katie Bean. <laughs> well, Katie Green from the Green Bean cardigan. I'm on the second sleeve now. And um, so after that is my pockets. I can't wait to get the dog pockets done. But the bottom of the sleeve, I am just so impressed with that little bit of colour work. It really does make it it really does and all that this part here is what's all round the um the re you know the oh what's it called oh my gosh what on earth am i doing today <sighs> band the band at the front and i've got my buttons and everything ready i can't wait for that absolutely can't wait right then i think that is all the yarn related it is yes also i have got much done on my cross stitch <laughs> i've managed to put them in a little box which i'm uh, really pleased with and so you've already seen the others so that's march i am so pleased with that so pleased as so you've already seen february and there's oh come on that's it and there's january and i have already started um here we go. I've done a little bit of April, and as you can tell, it's got an umbrella, so <laughs> it will be April showers, as always. <laughs> so, uh, yes, I'm really enjoying these, and it's nice to actually be that one um, um, ahead. So, um, what I'm planning on doing now, because originally I was going to get them done, make them up, and then display them, but I thought, no, I'm going to get the whole lot done, then I'm going to get me borders and all that lot, and all the fabric chosen for them and all stuff like that and then next january it will start with them all being done is the hands-on designs i say kathy kathy um, herberman herberman is is a brilliant designer she is from the us but i actually i have mentioned this once before i get all my us patterns from uh, the patchwork rabbit over here in the uk and they're so good so good postage is brilliant reason of very reasonable very quick so you know and if they haven't got them in stock i think it was this one or another one that i've got of kathy of um hands-on designs kathy um is um you know you you put on there um you push a button saying that you know when it comes in let you know and they do they let you know right away they're really good so this is it it is the year of celebrations and there they all are and I think I mentioned before in another one um, about the July because obviously they have done America and, can and Canada. So I thought well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do the Canadian one because I lived in Canada for two years in the 90s. So I thought why not? That's my little bit of connection. <laughs> so that is what I'm going to do. In a fortnight, that's not bad that really, if you think about it. Two test knits, a blanket and a sleeve and I've already started the other sleeve and a whole cross stitch. I'll complain of that really can i okay right then so let's get down to the um the wadding that i was talking about so excuse me mo since it came in the post i have been uh i'm so impressed with it i really am and with it being an eco blend that's what i love that's what drew my eye more than anything it's 70 percent recycled cotton 30% recycled polyester and I tell you what the drape it's softer than the original 8020 any quilters or anybody out there that make bags that use um wadding or batting uh will know that the 8020 is normally your go-to but this has got like a drape it feels soft like the bamboo to be honest it really does but I will show you the label Come on, come on, are you going to focus for me? Oh, oh, there you go, look at that. So, and with it being all eco blend, it is actually called the soft, uh, super soft eco blend 7030. I would highly recommend it on the feel. But um, what I'm going to do is, because I've been sent two pieces, 
Um, and what I'm going to do is hand quilt one, machine quilt the other. But the machine quilted one, I'm going to do so much of it on the with the walking foot and so much of it with the free motion quilting. So there's two, which is the two basic ones. But um, at the moment, I'm really, really impressed. I will say I have actually ordered it in at work. And um, yeah, so I will definitely be... Um, giving this a go i'm hopefully in the next fortnight i'll get these two finished all made up and then i can actually um talk to you about it um in a fortnight's time uh, i will say i'm not sponsored by um so simple but um yeah definitely if you can get this wadding it's the eco super soft 70 30 i would just on the feel of it go for it I really would. It's absolutely beautiful. And what I'm going to be quilting with, quilting it with, is um, I like my Mettler threads. When I do my dressmaking, I do, I use Mettler. All my polyesters for my dressmaking is for Mettler, is Mettler. But obviously with um, quilting, we do like our cotton threads. Now with um, the piecing, the patchwork part, we normally use a grey for the underneath because grey blends basically. And uh, this is the silk finish cotton, which is what you use for your piecing. And the colour 32, let me take this off, 322. Two. And that is a mid grey, which will be absolutely fine for the piecing. Now, when it comes to the, here we go, the machine quilting, to the quilting, I use the quilting thread and I'm going to use a fawn colour. Because I'm I'm just doing a demonstrate, you know, not demonstration. I'm just doing a sample of the quilting, and then when it comes to the, um, uh, I'm thinking of the hand one because I love my English paper piecing. I'll be doing English paper piecing on that one, and uh, for all the English paper piecing, I will be using the fine embroidery, and yet again, it's of mid fawn because with hand embroidery, it's uh, hand quilting. Oh, get it right, Vina. The hand uh, EPP, I find that fawn, it just blends. It, it's weird. You know, I, I believe in buying one colour that does all the job, to be honest with you. And, um, yeah, so uh, leave that one with me and I will definitely get back to you on that. Okay, as you um, have brilliantly <laughs> done and um, it's got me over to 300 subscribers. I am so pleased. I think last time I looked, I was 305, I think I was. And I'd like to say thank you, Viv, because um, you uh, put a, um, a post on your thing. You just say, get me up there, and we got there. So we are going to have a giveaway. And the lovely Viv, well, it's Vivian, I should call her Vivian. Um, it has a podcast, and it's, um, is it so long with Vivette? I always... Um, Forget her podcast, a brilliant little podcast, absolutely lovely. But she does have a um, a little uh, shop, online shop, and it's called Betty, Ar Betty Arthur Creations. And she makes uh, progress keepers and needle minders, so it's perfect for the cross stitch. And she's lovingly sent one of these for the giveaway so there's your needle mind there's your needle minder and this here this beadwork is absolutely beautiful on this little um stitch marker absolutely brilliant and there's this one here with the button it's so clever the way it works but um, also as well bless her she sent me a set and i've already used uh this the little uh, stitch marker here and there's no catching absolutely brilliant i used it on my test knit it's lovely and it's nice and light because it's uh, the beads it's absolutely brilliant and she also sent me a lovely card so that will be going up in my room so okay what i will say is um obviously there'll be other bits and bobs but what I will say is, so this one it will be definitely going in with the giveaway. And I have a question. Okay. Well, Glenn came up with this question. Actually. Right. He said, what is your favourite spring flower? Because we're going into spring. It won't be long before the clock change. 
and uh, yeah he thought what is your favorite spring flower now i would like you to be a subscriber you know it's only fair um so you know that that's what what is the point of this giveaway because of my subscribers and um what i will do is i'll leave it open for i won't do it next fortnight i'll do it uh, so i'll be in a month's time and um i will so you've got a bit of a time to think about because there's a lot of flowers out there to be honest <laughs> and then uh, i will um get some bits and bo more bits and bobs in for the podcast uh, for the giveaway okay but thank you ever so much vivian i really do appreciate it and as i say my little set with a lovely lovely surprise and also in the post i can't believe it <laughs> uh, my lovely friend emma has sent me this lovely little card i think that little dog on there is so cute let's get out of the way that's it so a lovely little card with a little message in it and oh i really do appreciate that and that was her birthday over the weekend so hope you had a lovely day <laughs> okay then right let's go into do, 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 do. what else have we got oh yes i did have as i said in the, the beginning let's turn my page in my show notes there was um a lady called grace who has asked if i would do beginner tutorials um of you know the patchwork and quilting which i have replied to her and i said yes i would i would love to do it so um there will be little extras on the week that i haven't got a podcast and i you know i think that would be nice to do uh from from the beginning and also i'll start with the cutting and then the piecing and going on from there so um they won't be long you know they'll just be little bits and bobs that i pop in okay so yes grace i would love to do that now i did have another what are they oh here they are right yes i had this lovely lady called audrey and she um left me a message because she'd noticed when i picked up my cross stitch that i what i used these little grips to keep away the excess fabric and she wanted to what to know what they are so i'm letting people know they're actually called bobbin huggers because believe it or not they are actually for machine sewing machine bobbins um to stop that from unraveling um but i just think because they're like a rubber they grip really well so what i've got is i've got a couple of spare ones here these are the ones that i use and basically as you see they unravel and i just wrap them around but there is also these ones now i got these ones yesterday at work just to see what they are like but because they're rub rubber grips these so what you do is you just open it up and go like that so i'm going to give these a go just to see what they're like but to be honest with you i do like these ones so then audrey and as i did reply they are called bobbing bobbin huggers and they're absolutely brilliant you know you can get them online anywhere or uh, go and check out your local shop uh, craft shop to see if they have them but um, yeah, that's literally what they're called. Right, let's go down on my notes. So I think we're getting there. Now, I'm going to bring my paper over here so I can read this. Um, a la lovely lady um, that I follow on um, Instagram, Emma, her name is, I have contacted her because over the weekend or at the end of last week, um, her and um, Zoe mason is doing a stitch along well not a stitch along it's like a craft along from the 1st of march to the 31st of march and on instagram it's actually got it's called um slow stitch along and so you just hashtag slow stitch along okay and what it is it can be any slow craft she actually and so does zoe they both do um english paper piecing and, and that oh and you will go and have a look and go go and follow them on their page they honestly they oh their english paper piecing is amazing but what i will say is oh and also they do do a bit of you know they do do the hand embroidery in with it as well <clears throat> but with their slow stitch along it is could be knitting crochet 
embroidery, cross stitch, anything that's slow and done by hand. And basically it's, you know, something that will just sit you down, chill you out. There's no, you know, boom, boom, boom with a sewing machine or nothing like that. It's just a complete slow stitch along. I'm definitely on board and I'm going to have... I'm hoping to get my um, English paper piecing bits out and because I haven't done that for a while and do some English paper piecing. But um, yeah, definitely, definitely go over to their Instagram. So I will say them again. It's uh, Emma's is Vintage Sewing Box. OK, that is Emma's and Zoe is Zoe Mason. So put in Zoe Mason and hers will come up. But as I say, I had a word with Emma from the Vintage Sewing Box and um, yeah, yeah a beautiful beautiful um uh, work they've both got but yeah just remember we if you are on board <laughs> and you want to enter it is the hashtag slow stitch along from the 1st of march to the 31st of march so i thought i'd give that a mention um because i think this time of year after christmas and then we've had the, the winter and well if you want to call it winter and all that it's nice in march just to slow down, chill out with all the flowers coming up. And I think that will be really, really good. So I think that is, oh, it isn't. I will say, hold on a moment. Right, I honestly want to ask you guys an opinion. Um, <laughs> How do I do this? <laughs> As you know, I do, you know, dabble and make myself some project bags and um, I've made some for friends um, that has asked for them and um, Emma bless her she um, asked for one and I posted one to her and I have been playing around with bits and bobs to see if I could find something different so what I would do is I'd like your opinion if that would be nice because um, I'm thinking of opening a, a an Etsy shop or it's um yeah of a project bag that I have designed so I'll just get it I'll be back in a moment right I did make this on my new machine so I waited till I get, got my new machine so I could do it because <laughs> I'm sad like that but um this is the bag I did obviously another quilting technique a chenille and obviously the more it's it's used the more it will wear okay and that's got a, a base uh, a denim bo bottom it's got handles so it's one of them say if you're going to a group or you know like with us there's a few of us that go to Barbara's Day Out that's run by Elliot Craft House Magic and uh, you know that'll be so much handier than to take that than having a project bag in separate and all so on so and everything that I have made here or that I have done here is um uh, cotton so it's all natural but the difference is in the inside you get a a hook Ooh, there you go a hook and clasp and then it opens so then you have a different shape like for bigger projects so it's kind of a two in one and then inside you will have a magnetic clasp inside there is also a let's see if i can get that i might have to do another video and pop it in i don't know i'll see there we go a pocket inside to keep your bits and bobs in there at the moment i've got some bits for um a pair of socks that i want to cast on for a friend so and then basically you if you wanted it for a smaller project you just hook over to there and it naturally goes back to that shape so it stands as you can see it stands up on its own it's nice and firm so please let me know and see what you think and you know obviously the outsides of the fabric will be all different ones and uh yeah just let me know I'd just like some feedback from you because I, I you know I do you know I know you would be honest with me and let me know if um, you think that I, I, you know, I should open an Etsy shop or something like that. I, th I think that would be quite fun. <laughs> OK, then. Right. Well, I think that's about it for today. Um, so I'm going to say me goodbyes because I've got to go downstairs now and um, bake some granola. Um, I've got me and um, my mother 
liquidy dough stuff out to start a sourdough so that'll be sitting there i'll do that and feed the other and do all that so i've got some bits and bobs to do today and obviously it's afternoon when i'll be sitting watching my podcasts i'll be either doing some knitting on my cardigan or doing some cross stitch so um i will be popping in the video of as i say just showing you around my new machine um she's a beauty she is a beauty and so from uh i would like to say i uh, hope you all have a lovely lovely day and i hope you've all got some beautiful weather wherever you are and i'll be back in a fortnight i'm really enjoying this fortnight i am it's something good to look forward to and it's more regimental is what, what i like everything organized <laughs> and uh okay then so thank you ever so much for everybody who likes and sub subscribes and leave me the messages i love 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 getting the messages i really really do and yeah any questions of any of the bits and bobs that i've spoken about today just ask me i can let you know and i'll be back in a fortnight so all take care happy crafting and i'll see you soon bye okay i thought i would just do a little overall of my new sewing machine i hopefully eventually in the next few weeks or months um i will be doing a complete um uh you know over, over on the machine um as you see it's a juki it's the tl98p um perfection it's semi-industrial this here is where my th threads come up at the back um like that it just straight sews it, all it is is a straight sewer but it's as you see i've got my walking foot on it's perfect well it is for quilting that's what it is basically but you can use it for anything else you know uh, as long as it's straight sews that's what i'm going to be using it for the this is the big um reverse um your dial you've got your your cutter it's your needle up and down this lever here is for your um feed dogs to go down for your free motion quilting or embroidery would depend on what you want to do this here is the knee bar down here on the foot control. This one here obviously is the front going forward. The red button here is to cut the threads. So I've got two options of cutting the threads, one up on the front of the machine or one down here um, on, um, the, uh, on the actual foot control, which uh, I find absolutely brilliant because I am actually um, industrial trained when I was uh, very, very young um all of my the industrials i worked on in the factory literally you you clip down on your heel so having it down there is absolutely superb this here as you can see is your tension uh, your pressure for here these are all your tensions it's got a needle thread up but i am adamant that i'm not going to use that until i really really need to my eyes can still see <laughs> you actually have here lift up there and it is bobbin with bobbin case but you know what i mean as i say with an industrial that's what you get anyway so for me it's absolutely fine but it she is an amazing machine i will say but this is just a little overall of her and um as you can see as well because um you know the machine is on my workbench and with it being wood it can you know um, vibrate a little bit so i got some of the um what's it called a table protector so it will take away the the vibration and the noise with living in a, in a little uh, two up two down um, semi detached uh, cottage you can you know you have to keep quiet and think of the neighbors <laughs> so anyway right this is just a little thing i'm going to pop in and um, while i'm going to what you know at the end of my podcast which i'm going to be recording in a moment but i just thought i'd let you see her in her glory oh and obviously she does come with the extension table as well amazing machine <laughs>